Hello, welcome groovy people. This is the self-proclaimed blue dragon. I'm back with another, well, I'm always back with another video. It's a weekly thing. This video was going to be a question and answer video for my patrons at the $10 level. Neither of them had any questions. And normally I would pick up off of where I left off with like, I was answering some questions from Comic Fury on time travel, but this week, this past week has been insane <clears throat> with family coming up, Earth Day, that was a really big project, the Earth Day video, and I'm not massively sick, but you can hear it in my voice, I'm a little under the weather. Between having family visiting and I'm still cleaning up from that because I'm slow, <laughs> and I, I do everything from scratch, so I've been having to do actual cooking and stuff, so it, I'm, I'm a little behind. But this month I'm not going to deal with the rest of the time travel question. I am going to get to it, I promise, I am, I just am not feeling that great this week, so instead I'm just going to, I guess, I, I'm going to babble, <laughs> which is what I always do, I always babble. Uh, this week... I'm working, I, I've decided to record inking a t-shirt design that I'm working on. I mean, I might have it put on other things, but it's uh, Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, if, you, if anybody out there is a Cowboy Bebop fan, click the iCard link that I'm adding to hear Mushroom Hunting. God, that, that episode was crazy. Um, but this is the right time of year for mushrooms anyway. If you're from the Midwest, and I don't know about the other parts of the US, and I definitely don't know about abroad, but this this time of year, provided that the weather isn't too crazy, is supposed to be morel mushroom hunting season. I love morels, but you gotta be careful if, I mean, people who go mushroom hunting hopefully know what they're doing, because there's also false morels out there, and you can tell because a real morel the, as you can see in my drawing, maybe you haven't gotten, maybe I haven't gotten there yet in the video, it's only two minutes in, but the way morels, actual morels are, <clears throat> the, the mushroom is just one whole piece and it's hollow on the inside. I mean, it's got the little bumps, but it's hollow on the inside. The false morels kind of where the top part of the mushroom connects the stem, it dips under. And I, I've never actually picked one, so I'm not sure, but they might actually have gills. And that's something that, don't don't quote me on that, but I mean, if, you, if it dips under and it, that top part is not just one, it's not just one solid mushroom, then it's not an actual morel. Anyone, anyone who's gonna go mushroom hunting, please make sure you go with someone who knows what they're doing because the destroying angel mushrooms have been spreading across the United States. They don't look like morels anyway, but you know, sometimes if you're mushroom hunting and you know what you're looking for, you can like, you know, get some moisture mushrooms or put some, the puff mushrooms are the ones that I've always wanted to try, but I've been too scared to because if you, you can't get them little. If they're little, it's a possibility that they might be the start of a destroying angel mushroom. So those have started to encroach upon this territory here. So if you're going mushroom hunting, go with someone who knows what they're doing, please. Because if you eat a mushroom that's poisonous, I mean, like the destroying angel, there's nothing you can do. If you've eaten it, it starts destroying your liver and you don't even have like signs of it. Like you might be, I think I read that the signs where you feel a little sick, but then you start to feel better. And then you just, there's just no way, even if you've eaten it to our, to the best of our knowledge now, there's no way to save you because it just destroys your liver. So <laughs> don't go out there unless you know what you're doing. Yeah, okay, I'm talking about mushrooms this week. That's what I wanted to talk about. I don't want to talk about art. <laughs> Boy, I don't know, what else could I, you know, regarding the whole, I guess April, April's probably, it used to be one of my favorite months because April always meant that I would have a chance to go out early, early in the morning. I used to be a morning person when I was younger, now I'm a night person, I don't know how that flipped. But I'd get to go to Casey's, we'd, we'd pick up donuts, we get, I would get like a V8 splash or maybe I would get like, when I was real young I would get like, does anyone remember those Fresca drinks? Oh no, no, it was Canadian Clear. Canadian Clear, the strawberry. Holy crap, I love those. Those are so nasty now. I mean, I, I mean, some people probably still like them, but as an adult, I don't like the way they taste now. 
I think it's because of the sweetener they use. I'm not big into sweeteners. But yeah, we, my, my dad and I, we'd go out and we'd go mushroom hunting. And like, we'd have like a contest to see who could get the most. Because you know, you only go out once or twice a year and you're competing against a ton of other people. And you always want to make sure you leave a little bit of the stem behind so that, you know, you're not destroying the mushroom itself, you know, because there's an underground network. Um, begins with an M. It's like Mycenae or something like that. That's probably something really wrong. Um, I can't remember, but there's a whole network underground that connects the mushrooms, a lot of mushrooms. I mean, in addition to having spores that they send out to reproduce. But yeah, we'd have a contest and whoever brought home the most, you know, like it was really exciting because my mom, she would prepare them. She'd soak them in salt water overnight and cut them up and then <laughs> we eat them the most boring way, which they're still delicious. We're British, so, well, we have British in our ancestry, so everything's got to be breaded in flour and fried in butter. Now I do a, a, a different version. I use Earth Balance for that now, but oh my god, I've only, like, for the past few years, I've only found, like, one or two mushrooms. I don't know if it's because I'm getting old or if I'm just going to worn out places or what's going on. But for me, April was always an exciting time, you know, because you're getting close to the end of the school year. Usually we got out sometime in May. I think it's different now. I mean, once or twice if we had too many snow days, we would be in until June something. I didn't used to have allergies. I still don't think I have allergies. I think I caught something. But yeah, I used to love this time of year, but where I'm, I mean, I feel like spring is just gone now. <laughs> like the other day, just, ow, we, it might have been yesterday, or it might have been Sunday. It was like 80-something degrees outside. I'm like, dude, it's April. This is supposed to be, you know, the time. This is supposed to be the nice time. Now it has since cooled down where I'm at. And it's rain, it's been raining a little bit, so that's been good. The flowers are coming out. Things are looking beautiful. May is one of my favorite months because when I was a kid, we had like a whole line of lilac bushes. They're still there on our property. And it's just, we knew it was Mother's Day because the lilac bushes were in bloom. So we picked some of those and you know, we, we have them like for a good while blooming. We have them in the house. So that's, it's a very nostalgic smell for me. I think that's gonna be something that I miss whenever we do finally move out west. April and May, spring. I know a lot of people like fall a lot, and I do really like fall too. I, I like the smell of, this is gonna sound really weird, but I love the smell of decaying leaves. And I, I like jumping into leaf piles, although I'm so, I'm a bit rotund now, so that hurts a heck of a lot more than when you were a kid. I don't think there's any season that I didn't really like. Summer, I don't know, anymore summer's kind of a pain in the butt because it's so hot, but I used to love summer. In winter, although you know, you get into the winter doldrums and you get a little tired of it and you're ready to you're ready for winter to go away, call it quits. But other than that, man, this is my favorite my favorite time of year was spring though, because that meant summer vacation was coming up, mushroom hunting was coming, the flowers are starting to bloom, everything's starting to come alive. And and we lived out in the country. So the for me, summer was annoying because where we lived, we were in the middle of corn and bean fields, and our neighbors whoever the the man that they paid to tend the field because it was a family-owned farm so i give them kudos for that they they were able to stick it out against the um the big name companies buying up that buying up all the farms but the guy they paid he always over sprayed so when i was a little kid like by the end of spring early summer he was spraying so much stuff that i was constantly in at the doctors i didn't have asthma or anything they just they said flat out it was probably from being out too much around the chemicals being sprayed. But yeah, so spring was always the bigger, like I, again, I loved summer because my cousins and I and my sister sometimes, she'd join us. We were always outside doing something and spring was kind of the, the harbinger of that. That's the word of Wednesday, harbinger. <laughs> and it's actually a really ominous word to use for that. Actually, I, I should use a better, a better word. We, we tend to associate that with something bad, but I think it just means a bringer of something. I'll look it up. I'll put it in the text above the video. This video might be a little late this week. I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, like I said, I've been a little under the weather and not even that. Like, I mean, I didn't do anything all day Monday, which I should have. And then yesterday I had to keep my promise to pick up trash around the neighborhood. And by that time, you know, for Earth Day, by that time I was, I was a bit tuckered out. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to spend the rest of the evening reading comics online and watching 
watching Netflix, which I don't usually like to spend a lot of time watching TV because there's so much other stuff to do, but I was just not, not up for it. So I'm sorry this video is probably going to be a little late this week. I thank you so much for joining us this week, for joining me this week. The question of the week is, do you got, do any of you out there participate in mushroom hunting? Or do you know anyone who goes mushroom hunting? Thanks so much for, for viewing. Thumb up the video if you like it. Subscribe if you like. Hit the notification if you like. Peace and love. Keep on trucking. Really keep on trucking past weekend. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bye, y'all.